what it really means to live like golden Yeah, we're golden, baby girl, we're golden They're about to see it shine, cause we're golden Yeah, this is my first vlogging video on the phone with my brother. Say hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. <laughs> He's such a kidder. <laughs> but yeah, we about to go to New Orleans. I got a game today. And yeah. So, are we not going to talk about what happened yesterday? Let me turn down the music a little bit. So are we just gonna act like it, like it never happened? LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. <sighs> My hopes were high for them when they traded away Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder. You know, the two guys that I never wanted to leave the Celtics because yes, I'm a Boston Celtics fan. A defensive stalwart an underrated all-star scoring point guard who happens to be four foot five, but was perfect for our, for our team, for our system. And they get back Rodney Hood, George Hill, Larry Nance Jr., and Jordan Clarkson. All oh, like, these guys are winning because those are solid role players. And they get in the playoffs last night along with Kevin Love who I've been vouching for ever since he went there because I know what type of player he is and basketball like once your confidence is an all time high like there's pretty much you can just throw the ball at the goal and it's gonna go in Kevin Love was that type of player he was like super confident in his shot in his game when he was with the Timberwolves as you can tell from his averages from his points his field goal percentage Three point percentage, rebounding, all of that. And his confidence went, it was shot. Like, he was the third option. He was kind of like, um, oh yeah, the shot clock's running down. Here you go, take a shot. So he never really got into like a rhythm ever since he'd been in Cleveland. And that was super evident last night. It was like on, it was on full display. He only had seven points and seven rebounds. 3 for 10 from the field, and I think like 1 for 5 from 3. That is not the Kevin Love we know. Rodney Hood, you know, he plays solid. I think he got a couple trash buckets. He ended with 12. 6 for 12 from the field. Nah, that's okay. He's 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 a better player than, than that. Jeff Green had like 10 or 11. He's a better player than that. But nobody else scored in double digits. LeBron had 22. 12 for Rodney Hood and like 10 or 11 for Jeff Green and that was it. That was it. That's all the help that the Cavaliers gave LeBron. I mean, Lance got into LeBron's head and I mean, I, I love to see LeBron play against the Pacers because you never know what you're going to get with that whole Lance and LeBron situation. Like, it is hilarious. I'm talking about to the fullest. Uh, LeBron got kind of frustrated with uh, Lance last night and pushed him on the floor. And Lance was just looking up at the ref like, you didn't see that? And so, I don't know. Um, they go back to the Quickens Lawn Arena back in Cleveland. And we're going to see. We're going to see if the Cavaliers are going to play better because they're on their own floor. And, but it's not looking too good. I mean... Those guys got pummeled last night, like pummeled into the ground. But we are going to see what happens. But um, that's enough of my rant. Hopefully they can get some help. Hopefully they remember how to play basketball. They get, the, they touch the ball and get their powers back like on Space Jam. And they come back like themselves. Until next time, you guys stay safe out there. Just a motivated guy signing out.